March is Women's History Month, and I'm happy to be joined now by a Marine veteran, Phyllis Williams. First of all, who are some of the women leaders who inspired you through your service? Throughout my career, one leader that comes to mind first is my grandmother. Before there was a lot of women serving in the military, she always wanted to serve, but she couldn't because she had 12 children at home. So she was a leader in the household, and she always led with honesty and love. So that's one of my leaders that inspires me. What made you decide to, to join the Marines? I actually joined the Marine Corps because of the com camaraderie and the fellowship with it. Although I was interested in other branches, I really am big on community. Even as I look back at it now, I felt that the Marine Corps had a strong, supportive community. And if I was to leave home, I wanted to be around people that cared about me. Your service, there were lots of action, there was a lot of things that happened, some good, some not so good. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, some of the, the things that you brought home from service, I guess, is the way of saying it. Well, some good things that happened was I opened my eyes to diversity because I'm from a small town in Boats, Mississippi. We have a four-way stop sign. <laughs> and last year we got our first Dollar General just to paint a picture of the size of it. So I got to open my eyes to diversity, different cultures, different belief systems, and it expanded my thoughts. There also was some unfortunate events that happened in the Marine Corps as well that kind of stifled my growth for many years and I didn't know exactly that it did stifle my growth until I got the help that I needed. What, how have you learned and moved on from that or moved beyond, I don't know if you've moved on from it, but mm -hmm. to, how have you continued to, to, to strive and, and has the VA been a part of that? Yes, the VA has been a huge help to me. I think it was 2010 when they asked the question, have you ever been sexually assaulted? And I think it was the first time I admitted to a clinician. I went to the hospital and all that stuff the time that it happened, but I admitted it and I believed it because I think at a point in my life I didn't believe that it happened. So I admitted it and they started to give me the necessary help. But even then it took a while because I was apprehensive about seeking help. They put me in a program called CPT, which is Cognitive Processing Therapy. It's 13 weeks long and it changes the way you think about trauma for MST is what they call it. How have you grown from that? How have you, have you improved, I guess is a way of saying it. I've improved tremendously. I just think about the way that I was very untrustworthy, hypervigilant, controlling, and all of that was a part of my trauma. And they outlined that in the therapy session. So now I've made a lot of growth. When I first joined, when I first started getting into services, which was only in 2016, when I first started getting into services, they had me on like clinically significant. I was taking a lot of different medications and now I'm not clinically significant and I've reduced one of the medications. My therapist even wanted me to do a group for peers. So I've made a lot of growth. It, sh it really did change my mindset. And such is life. Life is, life is hard and it's <laughs> things, bad things happen to good people as well. But if it affects your life, I want people to go get the help they need. And yeah, it's going to be my follow-up question, but you <laughs> answered right there of, of why should people get help and are you happy you, are you very happy with the, the support you've gotten? It was one of the best decisions I made was to get help because I can make achievements such as education and things like that, but if I don't change as a person, it's going to stifle helping other people or as a teacher, it's going to stifle building relationship with my students. So I am very happy that I got help because it changed me as a person.